Has this ever happened to you? Well, not the head falls off thing. The sneeze! Did you do this recently? Yes? Shame on you! You just got yourself sick! Looks like I, Mellow Jitto, has to teach you how you got that thing. You know what that thing is? It's... A communicable disease! So let's break down this term. Here's the pronunciation. Communicable disease. Not communicable disease, communicable. Yeah? You guys get it? Communicable? Communicable. Get it right! A communicable disease is any type of disease that can be passed around from one person or an animal to the other. Another term for communicable is transmissible or contagious. Let's jot down some examples, shall we? Oh boy, is the coronavirus the best example of communicable disease? But an example in Minecraft would be the infecting of zombies. This is why the villagers let you sleep in their houses. Because when you sleep, it skips the sinister night from approaching. And if you're a bomb and not go to sleep, the zombies spawn and act like it's Thanksgiving, feasting on hopeless villager flesh. The villagers then turn into zombies once they are killed by the zombie. The zombies are passing their zombifying disease to villagers, thus making that a communicable disease. Now you know about this term. Thank you very much. You learned something today. But wait, that's not all. How much do you prevent this stuff from spreading? Never fear, because I'm going to show you five strategies you can do to prevent communicable diseases from getting you when you go to the bathroom. Now, why specifically the bathroom? Did you know that 95% of men and women claim that they've washed after using a public toilet? Observations made by researchers discovered that only 67% actually do. Quote, bathroom paranomia, webmd.com. Disgusting! Anyways, let's just go straight down the list. I have two volunteers to help present my examples. Meet Polar. He's going to be the bad example. Don't follow him. He's going to need a good cleaning up to do after this. Next up, meet KJ Dizzle. He's going to be the great example. No pressure. All right, Kaboobatarius. Number one, let's start with something easy. Actually washing your hands. Do you see those percentages? Bad. Those are bad. So this is the example. Polar is done doing his business. Then leaves. I see so many people do this and it freaks me out. So make sure when you finish your business, actually attempt to wash your hands. Thanks, Dizzle. Now I know what you are thinking. Dizzle only washed one hand. That's because in Minecraft, we only use one hand. So it would be better to show you guys how to properly wash your hands with a real life example. So I took the time and humiliation to go to my school public bathroom and actually record myself wash my hands. Notice how I rinse with water first, then go for the soap. I start scrubbing up available menton. Also notice how I start scrubbing at my wrists because you sometimes itch your eyes with your wrist. Then I'm scrubbing between my fingers. Then most important thing, your fingertips. Your fingertips is legit the most dirtiest part of your hand. Wash them, please. After about 10 to 20 seconds, you rinse with water fully. Clean hands. Number two, drying your hands. Did you know that when you leave the bathroom with your clean, wet hands, you are more easily prone to getting germs on your hands again? That's because germs love to stick onto moisture. So yes, go to the air dryer and sit there until your hands are dry. No moisture left in your hands. Thanks for doing that, Dizzle. In my real life example, I had to stand there for almost a good 40 seconds. Number three, leaving the door properly. This is what you do. You get a paper towel that you dry your hands with and use that thing to grab that door handle so you don't touch it. Dude, this thing is probably dirtier than the toilet seat. Don't touch that. But what if there is no paper towels? Bruh, just use your sleeve. But don't touch anything with that sleeve! I grew a habit and just started to use my sleeves to use all of the door handles. Hey, look at my drip though. I'm styling! Did anyone else notice that my Minecraft skin clothing is sort of similar to my IRL style? I did not plan that. That was all a coincidence. Number four, no touchy people. All of these examples seem to be all indirect spreading. So let's go with something simple and talk about straight up direct contact. This can be applied inside and outside of the bathroom. Wait, here, let me reword that. This should be applied inside and outside of the bathroom. 
direct contact is something that really can't be avoided. So I'll cut you some slack and tell you all just to simply be aware and minimize the amounts of interactions with people in public. Number five, wear a mask. It seems as though we are all pretty educated in this, yet I still hear people today not understanding why we wear them. When you have a mask on your face, you are protecting your nose from breathing in any pathogens or sicknesses. You cover your mouth with... <laughs> Do I really need to explain that? So if you want to prevent pathogens, allergens, or any other disease from going up your nostrils, wear a mask! Congratulations! You now know how to become a germaphobe! Hey, nothing wrong with that. If Olaf were to just wear his mask, his head wouldn't have exploded off his body. I know that there are many other ways to prevent sicknesses from getting to you. So please feel free to put some down in the comments below for everyone to get some extra education. With that being said, please consider subscribing. If you like these type of educated videos, give this video a thumbs up. I will make myself another education video for one of my school assignments if this video gets 40 likes. Oh, did I mention that this is for one of my health class assignments? Hi class that's watching. Hey teacher, do you still have my backflip in your camera roll? I give you permission to show it to the class if you want. Alright, life's good. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Hey, so I don't really have anything for the sound of the day, so I'm going to use one of my voiceovers that I messed up on. If you like these types of educated videos, please... Ah, uh, Frank, why did I... It's not even in the script. Why did, why did I put... Please, oh my god. Okay, where was I?